the most important numbers of the, of the scoreboard on this one? Yeah, we got away with your uh, with, with the win here. Um, you know why things went the way they did. You take a big lead early. You can't capitalize to open up that lead. Um, you go through a lot. I mean, they made a lot of plays, and then you did. So credit to them uh, for staying in the fight. And you know, at the end, um, it still wasn't pretty, but uh, we found a way to make uh, basically one more play than that. The scramble play to Taco to get the ball the way down the field to ultimately set up the field goal. Um, you know, what's the difference in a game like that? Uh, I know there's going to be a lot to learn. Um, Offense, defense, and um, you know we did walk away with the win, and that's a credit to our guys just hanging in there. Yeah, a couple of young guys made a play at the end. You know, Tommy and and Taco. What a huge play that was. Yeah, no doubt. You know, that was third and ten, I believe, and uh, we're looking at the prospect having a punt back to them. Um, you know, we went working the scramble drill, and then lo and behold, there it uh, shows up at the most important time. And uh, you know, Taco's an explosive guy, and not only did he catch it, but then he. You know, he covered a lot of ground after the catch. So, uh, you know, crazy how it unraveled at the end. Crazy how the whole game went. Um, we just have to get away with it. Now your defense holds to that field goal on that last possession there. That was a key part of the ball game. Yeah, yeah. Um, not going down at that point. Uh, you know, holding to the field goal, making some plays there, putting some pressure on. You know, was was good. But, uh, you know, they played well. And I, I, you know, credit to... Coach Ball and his crew. Um, you, know, you go down really like that, and you scratch away. So a lot of credit goes to them. We uh, we got to get better though. Um, plenty of things that I know we'll look at the film and probably cringe at, but um, ultimately you win by three, you win by thirty. It's the same result. So we'll take the win and get on the plane and go home. RJ Martinez had 450 passing yards, 550 yards of offense. What do you see from him and kind of what their offense is doing today? Um. We got after him pressure-wise at times. Uh, ultimately, we couldn't, you know, we didn't hold up real well in man-to-man, um, and he was good. At, we knew he was good at, at putting the ball where it would need to be put, and did a good job of getting the ball in the zones and, and you know, um, playing with house money. I guess. I mean, they, they were throwing it all over the place, and um, they're, they're, you're, you're going to make a few plays when you go after it that way. And uh, you know, he's a good quarterback, and he showed us today. There were a couple of pretty open receivers as well. Was that just finding holes in the zone, or I guess what, what was that kind of amounted to? Well, that's a combination. I think uh, they guys open versus man, guys versus open versus zone. I don't. I mean, it's uh, we got to do a better job covering, um, trying to mix it up the best we can. We I mean, we got pressure at times. Um, you know, at some really key times we got pressure, you know, and, and then ultimately uh, you don't get it every time. And so it's, a, it's I'm sure it's going to be a mix of, uh, you know, all 11 guys on defense, which uh, allowed them to throw for as many yards as they did. And speaking of pressure, you know, Brody gets a couple, stri- couple sacks, Cal gets a strip sack. What do you think of their uh, pressure up front? Well, uh, you know, Brody's a, a playmaker, and, and it was good to see him, you know, right out of the gate, first play, um, make that play and uh, set the offense up well. Um, you know, he went down. I don't know if there was cramps or, or whatnot, but he didn't come back. And obviously, some other guys had to step in there. So, you know, um, our front has to be our starting point, especially against teams like this that are going to throw the ball around. And, you know, uh, but at the same time, when when they do get a ball off, we got to be able to cover and tackle. Is this uh, even a better example than the last game of Won't Be Beat? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Not really. Honestly, no. We didn't play well enough to, to look at it that way. Now, we didn't get deep, um, but I don't think so. I think we shut it down a little bit better in the fourth, fourth quarter. That's, that's what we're looking for. How about like, the game at Eastern and the Weaver game? How much does that help in a situation like Oh, no question. I, I think, uh, you know, going off 60 minutes, and if we had to play extra time, um, we would have had to play extra time here. So, no, I think our guys – you know, are going to come off the sideline and, and try to get it fixed, you know, and, and fix it with effort, fix it with execution, and hang in there. And I know we have that for sure. And, and you know, um, all these close games, uh, they harden you, I guess, you know, and, and set it in there, it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger, and that's how, how I feel. You know, we got to come out of this um, a stronger team um, in these last couple of weeks, two kind of completely different games, but uh, kind of the same result where it's right down the wire. Um, there were se- offense was taking several deep shots early. Um, I guess what was the difference between the first half offense and the second half offense for you guys for running and first passing the ball? Their offense or something? No, you're, you're all oh, offense. we didn't complete the other one, yeah. I guess. I don't know. I mean, you, if you don't complete enough, then you, uh, you kind of go away from it. I, we made one play, I think, uh, in a deep ball. Um, I mean, just a go ball. I and mean, it's a credit, I think, to 
Northern Arizona. Um, play ball was in the air. They made more plays than we did. Um, so yeah, that's why I think we won away from the Did you did you guys consider more over the middle passes, or was it just kind of a read thing uh, with some of those? I guess. Um, that's a fair question. I think uh, some of them are. You, you know, your first read is you get pressed, you, you're going after it, and um, that's what several of them probably were ultimately. And, you know, we, we did get some play action going, uh, a couple here and there, but um, no, we got to make those plays. I, I think that's part of our offense. Um, and, and typically we've made more than we haven't, and that wasn't the case today. That was one to whatever today as far as those plays went. Did that Yeah, yeah, you know, that, uh, that position, continues to be a, um, a work in progress for sure. So to see Garrett, he got 10 carries, um, 58 yards, that's, you know, and Elijah, 98, 92 yards. So to get uh, 140 out of those two guys, um, you know, that's what we needed today. You know, uh, Tommy still had 19 carries. Um, you know, we needed that as well. So, you know, not, not how you would draw it up, um, but to get contributions from some guys that we haven't. Um, you know, Garrett, Taco, um, on a, on making a play like that. Um, that was that was great to see. That, that final drive, I mean, did that uh, that I guess that play. What, how did that, you sort of see that with Taco kind of unfold? Uh, did you did you see him open the whole time? Uh, well, you... when when we scramble, which which Tommy did there, you know, you you try to get open, you try to break your route off, and if you can get deep and get beyond the defense, that's what you uh, want to do. So, uh, like I said, we've been working on that because it hasn't been super effective how how we've reacted to the scramble. It's really about the guys running the routes reacting. So, you know, uh, credit to Taco. He reacted appropriately, um, got some separation. You know, Tommy put a great ball out there and he caught it, caught it stride. And, um, you know, obviously without that play, we might still be here.